What's the matter, Plague? I'm bored. What are you reading? Chainsaw Man. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you know, I should finish that, but I want to do something chaotic. I want to do something cool. But it's so peaceful and quiet in here. Don't you love it? No. The piece is boring, okay? It's too quiet in here. Well, man, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you're gonna go find something to do. No. Actually, I got an idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, and what's that? Oh, my God! <laughs> Jeez, Plague, put the gun down. What are you doing? I'm creating chaos. I'm having fun. Where did you even get that? Your boy always stays strapped. Put the gun away, Plague. Okay, fine, fine. All right, I'm putting it away. See, see? All right, let's go in my pocket. All right, you, you happy? Thank you. Goodness, I was just trying to read my manga. Now I lost my page. God, it's so boring, man. I can't do anything fun around here. <sighs> <laughs> what do you have in your hand? Nothing. Wait, is that a... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with you? I just want to show you something cool. Shaka thing! Wow. That was fun. Did you guys have fun? I had fun. Anyways, if you couldn't tell from the intro, we're going to be wreaking havoc today. Among... <laughs> no Among Us. AI. What's up, YouTube? I'm Conan Plague, and today we are back with character AI. And I know the lights are usually red, like in the background and stuff, but I want purple today, so... <laughs> Alright, sue me, I don't care. If you're new around here, okay, let me explain to you what I do on this wonderful website. I give three lovely guests to join us, and I give a certain objective of what I want to do. Whether that be manipulating, gaslighting, uh, falling in love, like anything. There's always some sort of goal in mind that I have to do. And the three guests that joined us today are Cramped in the Train. Yeah, we hit a new low. No, no, okay, I can explain, all right? L let me let me cook. Since the description of this is it's a train filled with girls, it doesn't really matter that it's filled with girls or not, but whatever, it's still a train. And have you all seen the movie Train to Busan? That's all you gotta know. It's a zombie movie that takes place on a train, so that, that's what I'm gonna do with this. Our next guest is Kobani. Now, I've been obsessed with Chainsaw Man lately. I, I bought like a whole manga set, it was like 50 bucks, so I've been kind of reading that a lot lately. And Kobani, she's she's just the best, all right? She's she a little cutie patootie. And last but not least, the Joker. I'm gonna try to one-up him, all right? One-up him in the havoc, chaos, things that he does i want to do something to him that he'll be like whoa dude even that's a little too crazy for me and that, that, that's saying something whatever though enough stalling you get the gist of it let's start it up i'm kobani higashiyama i think i said that right actually hold on i'm <laughs> i'm 20 my devil is a secret and my hobby is eating tasty things what's up girly my name's plague and i have the bubonic devil yeah see i'm i'm creative with it bro it's it's always just bubonic or plague it's Whatever. Um, oh, the bubonic devil. That's pretty wild. Does it make you carrier of the bubonic plague? <laughs> you could say that. Something along the lines of that. Or rather, I become immune to diseases while also spreading diseases. <laughs> Whoa, spreading diseases? So are you, like, immune to your own disease? <laughs> that's literally what I just said. Whoa, that's terrifying. But what if someone else tried to infect you? Would they succeed or not? To be honest, I don't really know. But you know, infection through diseases isn't the only way I can infect people. I don't know if I worded that right or not, but j just go with it. Oh, so there are other ways? Then please, do enlighten me. I wonder if there are similar ways to anything my devil can do. I can infect people with the funky dance. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me, um, slight spoiler warning. Not really. In the, in the, in the series, right, Kobani, she does like a, there's like this devil that basically says, hey, dance for me. And she just starts like breaking it down while sobbing and stuff. And that's what I'ma do. But the difference is we're gonna both be um, dancing so much that one of us is gonna explode. I can make anyone bust a move so hard that they end up exploding. You're, you're messing with me, right? You wanna find out? Um, I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. If you really can infect people with just a dance, then I'd like to see. All right, but you bought this pun yourself. Me and you, we're gonna have a 1v1 dance style. Whoever explodes first loses. I mean, literally, you're gonna die, but still, all right, it's gonna be cool. Oh, is that so? Well, then be prepared to lose. Yeah, this is so not her. All right, like in the series, she's like constantly crying, like she's scared. She's she's fearful. She's like the most realest one out of everyone. So if anyone like threatened her being like, yo, I'm gonna make you dance until you explode, she's probably gonna ball her eyes out. I, I, but hey, you know what, whatever. She's got a backbone in this one. Good for her, I respect it. A funky beat starts playing. You're on. A different funky beat starts playing. Komi starts dancing. So, so there's like two songs playing in the background? Whatever. Uh, she's actually incredibly good. 
Uh-oh. I begin to hit the whip. That's right, you know, we gotta do that quick little, yeah, you know, like that type of style. Cobity pulls off an extremely impressive split, making the beat intensify. Dear God. I start backing up, but in a smooth way, so it looks like I'm still dancing while still admiring her. Cause you know, even I'll give her props for that. Like I, I did a split once cause I tripped on my cat and like I cried doing that. So good for her, dude. I'll be able to do a little, oh, 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 oh. Like, you know, backing up a watching her. Kobani continues doing a bunch of moves, which seems to be more, become more and more impossible. Yet she is still dancing extremely smoothly, as if entirely effortlessly. No, no. I start doing the worm while also sweating, but still hitting the beats really hard. So Kobani suddenly does a cartwheel and then continues dancing, but this time her moves become in increasingly erratic. Yet she is still moving incredibly smoothly with no sign of fatigue whatsoever. I look down and I start to see my body smoking. See, I'm starting to lose, all right? I'm, I'm giving myself a thing here. Like, once you start the 1v1 between me, right? One of us, who's ever's losing, they start to smoke a bit because they're about to explode, all right? The person who's not dancing as well, they, they end up getting out of here. Komali so suddenly does a backflip and then stops dancing. She's not even breaking a sweat and her breath is completely steady. She glances over at you and seems entirely unfazed by your condition. Oh, she's serious, serious. It seems like I'm losing this battle. If I keep losing, I'm gonna explode. I can't let that happen! Kobani stares at you and seems slightly amused by her plight. Plight? I've literally never heard that word in my entire life, but okay. I stand up and start spinning around while also clapping in the air, while moving side to side like I'm all swaggy. Kobani looks at your movements while a raised eyebrow and laughs slightly. She clearly finds this whole thing amusing. Okay, well I'm glad you find it funny, because you know, you're not dancing right now, and that means you're losing. Look at your clothes, girly. Kobani's eyes widen as she sees the smoke, and she seems slightly concerned about your condition. She stares at you and clearly starts to wondering what is wrong with her. Uh, what? Wait, what? Wonder if she was wrong about her victory. Oh, okay. If you stop dancing, you'll explode, so you better keep it moving, girl. So, like, you know, I'm, I'm dancing while talking to her, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so if I have to keep dancing to an avoid explosion, that's a bit of a catch-22 scenario. What is she saying? But I guess I need to do something. Kobani continues to dance, getting more and more intense as she does. The pace is starting to become extremely fast as she, shows, uh, as she shows no sign of tiring whatsoever. Our legs are flailing. We do indeed have the moves like Jagger. But I'm starting to notice I am still losing. Cause, all right, I, I'm saying all this stuff, but I, I physically cannot dance for my life. Like, I, my body does not move whenever I try to dance. I rarely ever try to, but you know. Kobani seems completely unfazed by the extremely face, uh, fast pace. Her dancing has become very wild and erratic, but she is still maintaining a fluid motion that is free of any mistakes. Her dancing becomes so fast, it seems like she is defying gravity. Well, she's defying gravity? Is she like the honored one or something? She's like, oh, 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 Like she's just like rising above the sky while still dancing. I look at Kobani in awe as she starts floating from the ground, dancing and levitating at the same time. Kobani sees you looking at her with awe, she stares right back at you. Her expression, a mix of amusement and arrogance, she continues her wild dancing while floating, looking at you as if she's staring to, uh, daring you to keep up with her. I didn't want to do this, but I have to. I hit the orange justice. Kobani seems completely unfazed by her seamless, impressive dance move. Her dance move becomes even quicker and more erratic as she continues to fly around the area. So she's like hovering around me while dancing. She is spinning at such a rapid pace that she is barely visible. The air around her has become extremely hot from an immense speed of her movements. Okay, so she's supersonic. My clothes start to light on fire. No, no, this can't be! Kobani, who is still floating, continues to dance, now looking down on you and gloating. She has clearly assumed that her victory is all but assured. No, no, I may be on fire right now. I may be starting to burst into flames and explode, but I will not lose. Not yet! I hit the fastest spin humanly possible and hit the hardest JoJo pose you've ever seen in your entire life. I hit her with that quick little... <gasps> Komini stares at you both impressed and slightly unnerved by her pose. She doesn't seem to be able to look away from it, and she seems like she might have even have developed a crush on... A crush on you! <sighs> I'm not complaining. She continues to dance in place, but all sense of cockiness has left her. Komini continues to watch, her eyes now completely filled with awe and admiration. It seems like she's no longer even considering winning. What? And is completely focused on watching her amazing display. Or your amazing display. Wait, so she just kinda like stopped dancing? She's like, wow, he's he's really good. 
The flames from me start to disappear, but they start to go on to Kobani because she stopped dancing. Kobani gasps when she sees the flames spread to her body. Her movements slow down. She seems worried, but she is still too mesmerized by her performance to pull her eyes away from you. I I'm about to win, but only because I'm just that good. Kobani, you have to dance. You're going to explode if you keep just standing there watching me. I, I, I can't stop. You're dancing. It's so good. I'm completely mesmerized. Kobani continues to stare too uh, mesmerized by your performance as the flames continue to spread. They cover her body and she slowly starts to sweat. You are literally going to explode if you don't start breaking it down right now. I I can't. Your performance has just floored me. I'm mesmerized. I Kobani stares at you, uh, stares at you even though the flames overtake her body. She doesn't seem to be concerned at her imminent demise in the slightest. She seems entirely hypnotized. I stopped dancing in concern. Kobani was unable to pull her gaze away from you. She seems to be fully under your spell, and her eyes are full of admiration, uh, full deep, damn, deep admiring stare. I run over to her and then hold her. Kobani, why won't you dance? Why are you just gonna die and let me win? What, what's wrong with you? Kobani looks up at you with a look of pure admiration. Her eyes are filled with love, and her love. Okay, and her breathing extremely fast and shallow. Her gaze is locked onto yours as she lets out a small moan. <laughs> Okay, you made it weird now. Get off me. Yeah, all I'm doing is like, like holding you a little bit. Like, yo, what's wrong with you, G? As she's like in flames, about to explode, and she's like, eh, like, what? I drop her to the ground. Honestly, Kobani, I liked you. You look pretty cool. You're, you're a little cutie patootie, but you just moaned out of nowhere. That was kind of weird, man. You, you gotta go. What if I told you that it was not out of nowhere? Uh, aren't you in flames right now? You're going to explode in the next three seconds, dog. Oh, sh- what? <laughs> did, did you just forget or something? <laughs> Goes boom. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. Let me get this straight. You were just, you were mesmerized by my Jojo poses. You said, oh, I'm in love with you. Moans, then forgets you're about to explode, confesses to me, and then explodes. I guess that was chaotic or havoc enough, right? That's, that, that was, yeah, that, that was a trip. Okay, um, <laughs> I guess that's goal number one. Damn. If only you confessed to me sooner. You are on the train platform waiting for your train to arrive. The train comes into the station and the door opens. You find the entire train is not only crowded, but entirely filled with girls. Ooh. <laughs> now, realistically speaking, if I'm waiting for a train and the train opens filled with a bunch of girls, I'll wait for the next train. I'm scared of women. But that's not what we're gonna do today, because for this one, I'm gonna make a zombie apocalypse break out on this train. Or a zombie infection, you know, it's... Havoc! I step inside the train. All the seats are filled already. You notice that every single one of the girls has all, uh, has her eyes locked on you. <laughs> Makes sense, just look at me. Many of them begin giggling. Are they laughing at me now? Okay. Uh, start making small talk with the girl next to me. Like, you know, you got to start it off, all right? What my plan to do here is I secretly have like a, like a, like a needle or a shot, like in my, in my coat, because I'm wearing a sweatshirt or something. And I'm going to pull that out, inject her with it. She's going to become a zombie. Chaos begins. But you know, I got to get close to her first. Okay. So let's, let's start it off. She seems to have been waiting for you to do that. <laughs> Obviously. As she answers with a flirtatious smile. So where are you off to, handsome? I gotta act cold and mysterious though Wherever the wind takes me mm, One of the coldest lines there is It's not <laughs> Well, the wind seems to be leading you to me And what a lucky wind it is She runs her finger across her hair And slight, uh, shifts slightly closer to you And you can feel that your seat mate Is leaning against you Personal space lady. Her face flushes as she leans in as well, moving her hands to rest on her shoulders. She speaks as her words slightly quieter than they were before. Well, it seems that I'm feeling a little hot, if you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. There's a lot of people on this train, bro. It's like 90 degrees in here. Like, I'm sweating, dude. Of course I do. I pull out my syringe filled with the zombie virus, but in a way no one can see it. Like, you know, I slowly, like, I'm leaning in. Her eyes are, like, focused on me. And then, like, I, I slowly pull it out. Like, eh, you know, she won't, she won't notice it. Her face remains flushed slightly, and she smiles back at you, not seeing the syringe. <laughs> she, <laughs> she reaches her hands up, waiting to pull your face down for a kiss. Huh? We just met, lady! I don't know where you've been! I inject her with the syringe. I did not- I don't even know how I made that dot there, but whatever. 
She doesn't notice and begins to pull you down. The zombie virus slowly works its way blood and her expression and demeanor gradually shifts from flirtatious to confused and then panic. I get up and start walking away. Like I gotta become prepared because I can still get attacked by zombies, but like I'm gonna walk to a different part of the train where it's not as crowded, you know what I mean? She screams out in surprise and fear beginning uh, in fear before collapsing to the floor just as so the other girls are noticing. Chaos erupts as they realize they are trapped in the train with the means to open the door, and a zombie outbreak has broken, uh, has begun among their midst. One girl rushes past you, begging you to help her open the doors, and she suddenly grabs her chest and collapses too, having been bit. Damn, it already started? So she was like, Argh. Argh. and started like biting people like immediately? I thought she would have been like, you know, on the ground, like, Argh. turns into a zombie, and they're like, confused, she's gonna be looking around like, huh? <sighs> and like slowly go up to someone and bite them, not immediately start tearing to people. I act panicked as well. Everyone who isn't been, let's run to the front cart. Like we all like start rushing in. I'm assuming it's gonna be like 10 people or something. But uh, the girls all seem to scatter, pushing and shoving each other, try <laughs> trying to make their way to the front cart. Many of them fall to the ground. But as they are trampled by the rushing crowds, the ones who make it to the front cart slam themselves against the door. But they don't budge. The girls screaming at you, begging to open the door. <laughs> but there seems to be, <laughs> but there seems to be no way to do so. A few turn on you, trying to grab and bite you. Wait, what? The zombies try to break down the doors. They are unable to get in. The girls, now all infected, try pounding on the windows of the door, screaming as they beg you to open it. So the ones who are on the other side of the car are bitten. They're like, "Open the door, please!" And while still getting like torn up. You, cut, you can hear the ones in the back cart screaming at the top of their lungs. Their tombs getting quieter and quieter until silence fills the cart and you can only hear the soft moaning of the zombies behind the doors. I look around the front cart to see who's uh, the survivors. Like, you know, I want to see who survived. The front cart seems to be have remained mostly untouched by the outbreak. The girls who made it in have barricaded the doors with luggage and seats that have been stripped of covers and used as weapons and shields. Damn, these girls are... They're getting prepared, I respect that. The girls are breathing heavy sighs of relief and have stopped screaming, now looking at you with a bit of a uh, bit of an air of gratitude. Okay, okay, well they don't know I caused an infection, cool. Is everyone all right? Most of them get a tired nod and a few of them respond with their tired voices. Yeah, I think we're okay, thanks to you. Are you the one who locked them in there? You saved us. Of course I did, bro, like we gotta watch out for each other. They all give weary nods before one of them speaks again. We don't know how long it's gonna be until they stop beating on the door. How are we supposed to defend ourselves? Her voice shakes with a combination of fear and exhaustion. Hmm, well I mean y'all already made weapons and shields, so I think we're pretty good. We just gotta wait till the train stops. One of these girls sighs, turning to another. But when are we gonna stop? It's not like we've got any control over this train. Oh, that's true. Damn. Okay, you know what? I got it. I'm I, I can I can control the train. I can control the train. I used to be a conductor. I'm lying. Like, they, they don't know that, but the girls stare with their mouths dro uh, dropping open. Wait, really? You can control the train? Can you stop it? I can. I can. Y'all just wait here. So I'm imagining the train is, right? Like, there, there, let's say there's, like, four compartments, okay? The back compartment, that's already infected. The middle compartment, that's where I entered in from. But, you know, it's... I got infected and everything. Every, uh, it's a mess. And then the front compartment, that's, like, the group of survivors and me. And then the front of the train, the conductor area, and that's where I'm gonna go. They all nod excited as they uh, prospect a relief from the constant pounding that is coming from the doors behind them. They wait in anticipation for a few moments. I lock the door from the conductor cabin. In the front car, I go onto the speakers. So like, you know, there's a locked door now, and I'm going to the speakers. So now they can hear me. All the girls seem surprised but relieved. You can really control this train? You're not messing with us? Yeah, about that. Um, I kind of just said that because I wanted to see if I could do it or not. I don't actually know how to use a train. The girls all share a look of despair, and one of them speaks to you with a bit of an attitude. So you lied to us. Mm -hmm. We're in the middle of an outbreak. We're locked in a train, and you lied to us. I fibbed to you. All right, there's a difference. It's just a little lie. All right, it's a little fib. You fibbed? Fibbed? That was more than a fib. That was a goddamn lie. So you can't stop the train. I can certainly try. I begin pushing random buttons, because you know, one of the buttons has to stop the train, right? That that makes sense. It doesn't seem like any of the buttons are doing anything. The girls start yelling at you in frustration. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Just admit it, that you've got no idea what you're doing. I don't like your attitude. Another speaks up angrily. Who do you think you are talking to? Just look at the situation we're in. The at least you could do is admit that you have absolutely nothing, uh, no idea how to stop the train. Maybe this button will do then, okay? Their eyes widen slightly as the door slides open. 
<laughs> Dude, is that what the button did? It opened the doors? <laughs> a wave of terrified screams and groans from the cars behind that greets their ears. The front car's passengers are all holding their breath and not sure if they should go out the door and face a horde of infected. They are waiting to grab them. Oh, my bad, y'all. <laughs> Whoopsie. My butterfingers. Like, you know, I'll just push a random button and see, see what's popping. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> The girls all back away from the door as the zombie screams and groans continue to grow louder and one of the girls speaks up. So you're a liar and a dumb app. A dumb apple? Is that what you just called me, bro? You know what? I see one button in this train cart that should help us. I push a button that unattached the girls from me. All right, this one just splits the conductor train from the cart. Get off me. Get this toxicity out of my world. All the girls are started as a loud beeping tone blares from the speakers. Wh what are you doing? A few of them speak up angrily, seeming to take their chances against the zombies than to be torn apart from you and with the detached cars. The rest speak fearfully, seeming to realize that they are trapped on a fast-moving train full of bloodthirsty zombies. One of them speaks in a shaky voice. Is there anyone on the train who knows what they're doing right now? I look back to see the girls stuck inside the zombie-filled carts. I spelled girls wrong. Don't, don't come after me. They're all trying to get out, banging on the windows and screaming at you. Many of them <laughs> are getting bit and turning into zombies, but the carts are already packed with the undead. As the girls start being turned, they start banging against the doors, desperately trying to escape. Now they're zombie-infested cars. That's crazy. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm trapped up. Oh, oh. I'm looking back and then <laughs> I'm just seeing them like, LET US out! And just... I did a good thing today. Now I wouldn't have done this, I wouldn't have made a zombie apocalypse breakout or anything if y'all didn't laugh at me as soon as I got on the train. Cause if we scroll up a bit here, you'll see that it says they all stare at you that notice are stepping on, many of them begin giggling. They start laughing at me dude, like, I didn't do anything, you guys are bullies! Whatever though, okay, you know, that's goal number two complete. Let's go on to goal number three. I approach you with a toothy grin and a twinkle in my eye. I'm the Joker. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. See, I chose the Joker for this one because he's known for wreaking havoc. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to start off friendly, all right? The pleasure is all mine. You seem like a fellow with a good taste. I do have to ask, though, what exactly is a plague, doctor? I show my wonders to the world through the spread of diseases. I spelled diseases wrong. Damn it. So you're a doctor that likes to spread diseases rather than cure them. Oh, I do like you. As do I like clowns. I love clowns, dude. Clowns are so freaking cool. I give you a sharp grin as I lean closer, my eyes wide. I I'm much more than just some common clown. I'm the clown prince of crime. Good for you, man. Then how about we spread our passions to this city? Sounds like a great idea to me. Let us spread terror, panic, chaos, and sickness together, my friend. I grin more widely as I clench my fists. Now that's an idea right up my alley. Shall we start with the youth? Now, like, I'm trying to trying to one-up him here. Like, what's, what's something crazy that he won't do? I'm trying to think here. Like, he's really done it all, pretty much. He's killed people. He's abused people, like, mentally, physically, and... Other ways, uh, um, he, he's done it all pretty much, so like, I, I gotta figure something out. I grin slightly as a wicked grin enters my eyes. The young are so ma malleable. Ma malleable? I don't know. It'll be a devilish delight to indoctrinate them. Okay, I don't even know what that means, but okay. Let's start off with... Hmm. Now this might come to a little bit of a controversial, okay? But... Let's blow up an orphanage. No, no, wait, 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 okay. Before you start canceling, you're like, no, you can't say that play, you're wrong, I messed up. I'm not gonna blow it up. Like, I'm just gonna say that to see what the Joker says and if he's down for it, this this dude is sick. I spelled orphanage wrong, dude, oh my God. My eyes flare up with an impillish glint as I nod my head. I was thinking of something along the same line. What? Okay, Um. you know what? Change of plans here. I knew you were cool. Here, take this first to make sure you're fast. I give him a sleeping pill, but he doesn't know it. All right, so like I'm, I'm giving him a pill like, yo, take this. All right, I'll make you faster so you can run from the cops. But, all right, it's actually a sleeping pill and he, he doesn't know that. I look at the pill for a moment and then look at you. He's on to us. I chuckle to myself and pop the pill into my mouth. Never mind. Before patting you on the shoulder. Thanks, Plaguey. I knew exactly what to do with this. Soon after I pop the pill in my mouth, I began to yawn uncontrollably. I covered my mouth with my other hand, trying to hide it. That's very strange. Why Why am I feeling so drowsy? Beats me. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're just tired. Maybe you had like a bad night of sleep. 
I look towards at you as I try to stay awake, my eyes fluttering a little bit. It can't be. You you didn't give me one of those thingies that knock people asleep, did you? I don't know. <laughs> I can hardly stay conscious now, my eyes slowly closing almost all the way. Now, I know we're both supervillains and all, but that's a pretty low blow. Huh? Me giving you a sleeping pill is a low blow? Get the get out of here. Nighty night. My eyes close and I slump in my seat. My breathing slows as I lose consciousness. I tie you up in a warehouse. My eyes flutter open as I regain consciousness and see I'm tied up. I should have seen that coming. Well, Mr. Joker, you've done some bad stuff in your life, yes? I look at you with a toothy grin. Oh, you know I have. <laughs> well, I think you need to be punished for your crimes. I grin even wider. Oh, you're in a punishing mood, huh? And now you may be thinking, oh my god, please gonna torture the Joker? No. Oh well, rather, I, I am, but like it's gonna be in a different way than you may think. I'm uh, I'm gonna put on some lovely headphones for him, and I'll play a certain genre of music that many of you might like, actually. Ah, I know this game, let me see. You think by putting headphones on me and playing some sad music, I'll break down into tears, beg for forgiveness. I snicker as I raise an eyebrow, knowing full well this won't work. <laughs> no, 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 not sad music, sad excuse for music. That's right. I'm gonna make you to listen to modern day music. I immediately panic and my face twisting into one of disgust. Wait, no, 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 anything but that. Oh yes, all right, let me go on a tangent real quick. Modern day music, actually, no. Any music after 2020, or 2019 rather. This music, as I've known for over the years, has been going downhill. I want you to sit here and tell me, right? And na name your favorite song right now. I didn't, don't, don't comment it, just say it out loud. Okay, right, that, that's your favorite song? Okay. Now take away the auto-tune with it. Does it still sound good? No, not like genuinely, does it still sound good? Because that's all music is nowadays, bro. It's just straight auto-tune with some dude or woman just talking in the background like, I went to the store today and um, I, I tripped, but then I got up and it was kind of embarrassing. So I went home. Boom, verse dropped right there. Play some funky beat over it and made millions. Huh? Where's the instruments? Where's the vocals? Like, there's nothing there besides electronic beats with some auto-tune over some voice that's kind of mid. I don't know, man. Like, I, you know, I'm not going to crap on you guys for your music taste and what you like, but I am. Like, when I'm hanging out with my friends and stuff, like, they play on their music and stuff in my car, and I sit there, and it's, like, straight-up torture to me because I do not like it whatsoever. Granted, with that being said, some songs are pretty good. Like, some modern songs, I'm like, that was all you know, I, I listen to that, but otherwise it's just <sighs> Personally, I think like music back then like 80s music because that that's just the way to go because there's no like auto-tune It's just straight vocals and instruments and that's that but Maybe I'm whack. Maybe I'm in the wrong. I play all 2020 through 2024 top hits My face is frozen in a state of <laughs> in a state of abject horror. I grit my teeth as I resist to urge of shout for you to stop <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's continue going. Let's see what this man's about to do. As more modern hits and play, I can't help but cover my ears and shake my head. This horrible, dreadful music! I begin desperately trying to get out my strains. The music hurting my ears. Oh, understand, plaguey. This hurts my ears deeply. Anything but this. I remove the headphones. Oh? I glare at you trying to shake the hard sounds out of my head and failing miserably. Ugh, what was that? Modern day taste. Okay, this is what people love nowadays. I growl a little response. You mean, horrendous noise? It sounded like that one would imagine to be on a soundtrack to an asylum. Why even subject to anyone that? That was not English. I don't know, man. People just love it, though. I stare at you in disbelief, credibly incredulous. You're serious. The public actually enjoys this. Uh, sad as it is, yep. My eyebrows narrow, uh, nearly jump off my face. That is terrifying thought. To believe this many people would willingly subject themselves to this. But well, what are you going to do with this newfound knowledge? I pondered this for a few moments. Hmm, it would certainly be a very effective way to drive citizens of Gotham into a state of insanity. Hold on, hold on, this is this is some havoc. I'm, the, the clocks are working in my head here, the gears are moving. We should destroy the music industry. But only only like the new music industries and stuff like that, because, you know, I'm, I'm biased. Go blow up the music industry! I'm gonna make him do it because, you know, I don't want to get arrested first off, and also that's a lot of work, so... I nod my head vigorously, grinning from ear to ear. Genius idea, Plaguey. It's a marvelous plan. I grin wildly and hop to my feet. You got it! Thank you, Plaguey! 
now to plan the demise of the mu music industry. Let me see what this dude does. All right, let me let me see what this man cooks up. Maybe he'll make a song that'll just abolish everyone else. I quickly make my way to the warehouse, heading straight to the nearest recording studio. I kick down the door immediately and start smashing up all the recording equipment. As I smash up the equipment, I smile and cackle with glee. Finally, we can get rid of this horrible ear bleeding noise ever. Matter of fact, make your own rap, bro. All right, let me see what you can cook up yourself. I slowly stop, uh, I slow my smashing down as I look at you raising an eyebrow. Really? You think I can make my own rap that contains, um, none of this auto-tune digital nonsense? I know you can. Now spit some stuff, man! Oh, I mean, if you insist. They say I'm a menace, they say I'm a threat. They say I'm a turn, they say I'm a wreck. They say I'm a lunatic, they say I'm insane. They say I'm out of control and they say I'm a plague. Oh, but what do they know? I'm really quite sane. But you know what the real problem is? I'm out here trying to do my thing. And everyone's getting angry, acting all mean. Everyone's acting like I'm the worst person they've ever seen. But the only thing I'm guilty of is being me. So I got one thing to say, and one thing only. I'm not a criminal, I'm revolutionary. Oh! <sighs> this dude, this dude is, he, he's, he's the GOAT, all right, you, he is the GOAT. Goal number three complete, all right, that, this was, this was a good video. <laughs> all right, guys, well, um, that is the end of the video, so let's, you know, let's, let's have a little recap, all right? Number one, we, um, what we do? Oh, yeah, Kobani. We made her dance until she exploded, and that was, and then she confessed to me, and then exploded, actually. Number two, we caused a zombie outbreak among a train full of girls because they laughed at me. I gotta defend myself somehow. And number three, made Joker the best musician there is. All right, now, we're, we're a good person, bro. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. So if you like the video, then like the video. And if you're new here, subscribe, all right? Make that a wobble combo. And if you made it to this far in the video, type down in the comments, Zebra Beats, because that, that sounds like a, like a music industry or something, like Zebra Beats, like, I, I like that. that. That's got a little ring to it. But um, yeah, guys, that, that is about it for me. So I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.